Just 47 days until the November election and former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris are on the campaign trail again today. Mr. Trump will attend a rally in Long Island, New York. The vice president speaking to the Congressional Hispanic Caucus in Washington, D.C. this morning. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with more for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. Kamala Harris wrapped up her speech to Latino lawmakers in Washington just a few minutes ago. She spent some time talking about immigration. She told the Congressional Hispanic Caucus that America can reform its broken immigration system and also protect the so-called dreamers, the undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as children. And she had harsh words for former President Trump's plan to deport large numbers of people who came to this country illegally. We all remember what they did to tear families apart. And now they have pledged to carry out the largest deportation, a mass deportation in American history. Imagine what that would look like and what that would be. How's that going to happen? Massive raids? Massive detention camps? What are they talking about? Trump last night made his first appearance since the apparent attempt on his life at his golf club in Florida over the weekend. He took part in a town hall in Flint, Michigan, and he told his supporters he'd heard from both Biden and Harris. I have to say that uh, President Biden called me yesterday. He was very nice. We had a very nice conversation. I appreciated that he called him. A little while ago, I got a, nice, a very nice call from Kamala. No, it was very nice. Michigan is a crucial state in the race for the White House. Trump told the crowd that if Harris wins the election, there won't be a U.S. auto industry anymore within two to three years. He said China will take over all of the auto business because of the electric car. If for some reason some tragedy happens, because it would be a tragedy beyond the auto business for the whole country, I really believe that. If a tragedy happens and we don't win, there will be zero car jobs, manufacturing jobs. It will all be out of here. You won't be making cars here anymore. You won't be making anything in our country anymore. Trump holds a rally in Uniondale, New York tonight. Harris travels to Wisconsin and Michigan later in the week. We'll send it back to you.